It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and the grand reveal in La Mesa. Two days and a bunch of plants and half a yard of California Gold 3 8 I ended up going with Southwest Brown 3 quarter for my ribbons. And yeah, we are done. And I'm thrilled with this giant pot which is basically how I look at all my installations is just a giant container. I added a couple of things that I found amongst the rubble. I found in the backyard some really pretty pieces of tumbled glass and her little iron monsters. I staged those too because those are lots of fun. I lifted the pot with the trigona in it and something that I didn't talk about yesterday I was seduced at Waterwise Botanicals by Oristachis the dense cap oh my gosh I don't I've never worked with this plant before I'm familiar with it but I've never seen it available or it's escaped my attention and I have no idea how it's going to do here in La Mesa particularly in the hottest part of the summer but I did try to plant it underneath the umbrella of some other plants so keep a good thought that the Oristachis dunce cap survives because it is spectacular. Also, we found a little, excuse moi, we found a little miracle. Just leave it. Okay, Hannah says just leave it. It is a Kalanchoe orgialis leaf. I mean, just look at how it's propagating. That new little plantlet, or I should say plantlets, appear to be coming out of the actual leaf. Can you actually hold it? Huh? Can you actually hold it? Yeah. I totally just lift it up. You know, it's like, you can see a couple little air roots on it, but they're just like sticking out from the, from the leaf itself. It is just wild, isn't it? So cool. I mean, Orgialis does propagate really well from leaf cuttings, I've noticed, but I've never seen them come out like growth from the actual mother leaf. And it's so odd because this is such a thin skinned plant and most plants that have thin leaves and don't have a lot of tissue aren't so great for leaf propagation. But hey, lo and behold, surprise, surprise. What else can I tell you all about this? Oh my gosh, I don't know what else to say other than uh, I did bring another little aloe cameronii from home that you know I popped in as a cutting I've been stressing it for a while in my yard and it's really really reddening up I will be here in a year or so to do maintenance on this installation but I you know those of you that have followed along nice Colin Colin just expelled um, those of you that have been following along you know that these plant choices that I've made are going to stay really well behaved for years to come. That rock is so cool. That was another one that I found here. And then that, yeah, really gorgeous. Some, some really pretty rocks. But, you know, I feel like this installation really befits the house. This is a Spanish, a, a kind of a casita type of a look. Very old world. And... I'm thrilled with how this bed with the Mexican bird of paradise turned out. I wanted to keep this really simple. There was a lot going on in here before. And I told Holly, let's just let this be the, the star of the show. So I staged a couple of the more interesting, colorful Baja red boulders. Um, we put down the three California gold three eights. And then I just ran a couple of bags uh, 50 or 75 pound bags of three quarter inch or half inch Southwest Brown and ribbons simple on either side. I will have Holly come out tonight and stage her, her lights, which are solar. I'm not, you know, exactly sure where to put them. So I'll have her take care of that. She'll hand water. She's a great gardener. I have every confidence that she'll do right by this, by this installation. So, uh, another just uh, by way of announcement, 
it's coming up on two years for Greg. Those of you that follow along know Greg had a cardiac arrest at the Minneapolis airport on August 10th of 2019. So we're coming up on his two year anniversary and we will be relaunching the Love is in the Garden t-shirts special edition um, next month just to celebrate Greg being alive. So that's all I got. Next up is Oceanside for the coastal succulent installation. I so appreciate all of you. And oh yes, and I also finally figured out my analytics. So now I know how to filter all of the members comments. So I went through this morning and spent like forever just loving and, and commenting where I could. I apologize for the delay, those of you that have, uh, that have commented that are members. I'm, I'm catching up and thank you for your patience. So for Colin, Hannah and I in La Mesa, this has been your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys.